How is it going? Welcome back to the daily vlog. We are back on the wood job again here this morning. Uh, we've been here about a little over an hour so far and we're moving right along. Yesterday was all the slow stuff, getting it prepped, carpet tore out, tax strip up, holes filled, and getting my wood laid out, started straight. So today we simply glue 23 inches, We'll measure from our boards, 23 inches, I'll show you. Let me turn around. So what I do, I'm 23 inches at a time because that's how it just falls out. I usually will do a couple feet, an inch or so variation, just however it falls out because I don't want to have to reach way over my glue right here to get to it. So from where I started, I did 23 inches, spread the glue. When I covered that up with wood, measure out 23 inches, pop a line, cover that with glue and I work 23 inches at a time there. So I'll spread and cover, spread and cover. Uh, I just push the excess off to one side. And just whenever I make my next run, I'll measure from here. You see my chalk line there? I always give myself just a little bit extra so I can have glue like so. But anyway, uh, I'll measure from here, come out 23 inches. Same thing down there, and then I can just take off with this pile of glue back down that way. So, got our doorway going on here. Nice and steady. Uh, I think I'm going to have to, this is just a piece of, I don't know exactly what that is. I think it is, uh, Going to have to do something here for sure. I ain't sure what I want to do. So this thing up here, see the nose on the bottom of it. And it has a groove right there, and the knobs are adjustable by this wing. Then you can cinch it down by this other wing. So you can take and adjust those little buttons to make them as high or as low as you want to so that it floats up over the glue see that and you don't get any glue okay, on the bottom of your block and you can still set it down and stuff just these little points set on the glue and you can see how much of a mess it is just barely any glue that travels with this thing at all so that allows you to Set it right down in the glue. Do whatever you need to do, see that? So look at the little bit of marks it causes. Ah, oh, look at there, I leaned it up too much. <laughs> Being stupid, shouldn't have done that. But anyway, you get the point. It floats above the glue and I got my thumb there too, and my finger. Anyway, you get the point. This thing is super handy and, it <laughs> and you can lock, lock it in right there on the end as well. Right there. And for, um, darn, I can't even think what you call it. For sliding them into place in between other boards and stuff, weaving them back in, yeah. So this is super handy. The Tapper Tool 1000 made by Taylor Tools. You guys, if you do much glue down with it all, this is gonna help you. Okay, this is what we got. We have been working for about four hours now, and we have come from 13 inches off of that wall over to here. I don't know how many two foot spans we got done yet, but we had one little sliver going into that doorway, and this is it. We got this much left. So, it's not going too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Cock a doodle doo. Well, we got her done. Gonna put some trim down. And I guess right here I'm gonna put a T mold. I don't have that with me. It is at the store. So, what a bummer. But. 
hate that we gotta come back. It's a 30 minute drive over here. Got a nice expansion all the way around. In case you ever wonder about that, kind of, you know, this ain't, this ain't uh, the Bible or nothing, but it's a good rule of thumb. If you're ever curious about expansion, you can always just do your expansion, the thickness of the product that you're putting down, and you're gonna be good. I was gonna say every time you'll be good, but there might be some instance where it is a little different or something, but most of the time, the majority, if you'll just leave yourself expansion enough, the thickness of the boards that you're putting down, this is 3 8 so leave 3 8 If you're working with a half, leave a half. Three quarters, leave it three quarters. I know that seems a little much, but that's the case for that. Anywho. Time to put some trim down. Last time I did some vinyl over there and I was talking about coping my quarter round. Somebody was asking me that they wish they could have seen me cope. So I'll show you right here. You just cut your 45 and then you follow the white right around. You take all this material out. Once you have that right there, right around that white line, it's gonna fit over the next one real nice. And this is what I use to do it. It's a little uh, Merlin. See that right there? This is a super handy little tool. A lot of guys will use the four inch grinders. This has got a little wood carving grinding thing on it right there. That right there is how I coat my cuts. Ta -ta. I don't care what you say, you cannot beat a cope. It's the best way to do your corners. And it's a little easier, honestly, because you only have to do something with one end. The left hand cut is always cut straight off. The right hand is always a cope works beautifully. Okay, that concludes the... Blah. That concludes today's daily vlog. We got everything done over there, got the furniture back. Uh, everything is good except for the doggone T molding to the tile. It was too thick. The wood was too thick to do anything with that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to drop a T in there. It's actually what I did to the kitchen uh, in the other room. But when I went to the foyer in the other room, I guess they had a thicker tile. I didn't even check it, but it worked out flush where I didn't have to put no T molder. But here we go anyway. Got that done. I just had to make another trip. I hate doing that because I should have had it all together. Anyway, especially after having two days up here, I should have observed that yesterday and be like, hey, I need a team molding. But no, no, you can't think ahead, can you? Until tomorrow, FBSB's out. <laughs>